Two and a half years ago, my sister died, and I had to get her gravestone. So at that time, I thought it was proper to get Artie's, because the Army always told me when they found him, they would send his remains home. I wanted it there because I thought if my brother and I were gone, and they brought him back, the church knows that, that he had a place out there, but I didn't want somebody else to do that. I just thought we should take care of that. Three or four years ago, they came to get my blood and my brother's blood. And I kept telling them, I don't want you to bring any bones back unless I know they're his. And so they said with the DNA file, they would guarantee that they were going to be his bones. And I thought, maybe we will see get that before we pass away. My brother and I are not getting any younger, and this has been going on for so long. We never thought we'd see it. means closure primarily for the family and so on and of course for the us guys here who are um, Korean veterans and have served there we like to see this happen we don't want any of our guys lost forever over there there's over 8,000 still missing and probably a couple of hundred have been identified But it's the only one in, uh, in our area that I know of that was a prisoner of war and, and, uh, and died there and was, his remains were brought back. Present. Boom! I hope if he's up there and he's up, he would love this. He just loved Flash and he, and he liked, he just liked everything. Fire! He just was cute. You couldn't help but like him. And, and even if you got peeved at him when he pulled a trick on you, you couldn't, could, couldn't really get mad about it. I just feel good about it that he's going to be laid to rest. I figure that's for everybody. The rest are all gone, but I just feel like i got to feel good about it for them, too. Everybody felt like they wanted him back, you know, and there was nothing we could do about it.